have nothing to lose to try this match. You already tried everything that you could possibly try. What's up you guys, my name is Gabby and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about clearing your skin. Now, a week ago I was sitting on the train and there were two women in front of me and one of them was staring at me, like full on staring. I was at my phone and I could feel somebody staring at me and then I looked up and she didn't take her eyes off of me, she was just kind of like... I'm staring at you and I was a little weirded out and then she looked at me again and she says to me Oh my god, your skin is so beautiful. You have such gorgeous skin and I felt a little lost and I Just said oh, thank you so much. She's like honestly your skin is just so beautiful and I was like, oh, thank you and then I posted that story on my Instagram because basically I had horrible horrible skin for about three or four years and I did everything that I could to clear it and nothing helped and then clearly now I have beautiful skin so I posted that story on my Instagram saying that anytime anybody compliments on my skin I never take it for granted I used to wish and pray and cry and chant for a beautiful skin and I always used to tell myself if I have beautiful skin at some point I'm never gonna take it for granted I'm gonna love it I'm gonna cherish it and here I am making this video so I asked you on Instagram if you wanted me to make a video of how I cleared my skin and 98% of you said yes so here I am making this video so before I say anything First of all, I am not a doctor. I cannot give you any professional medical advice. I'm pretty sure that's obvious, but I'm sharing with you what I went through and yeah. So this video is going to be split into three parts. Part one is going to be actions. Part two is going to be thoughts and beliefs. Bear with me. Before you say anything, just bear with me and have an open mind. And then part three is going to be supplements and diet. Now, I think we're ready. I think we're ready to begin this story time. So let's get to it. Part one, action. So as I mentioned before, I had absolutely horrible skin. And actually I used to take a lot of pictures of my skin because I wanted to document it. And you know, when I clear my skin, I'm gonna look back and be like, Gabby, you did it. Unfortunately, I don't have those pictures with me because they are on a computer in Lithuania and I live in New York City, so I don't have access to those pictures. However, I found a video on my hard drive that I have with me, so I am going to put it up for you to see of how bad my skin was. So. My skin was absolutely horrible, three or four months. I had a lot, a lot of blackheads everywhere. I had a lot of really painful, big pimples or cysts, and it was really, really painful. My skin was very red. It was just very inflamed. It didn't look pretty even when I covered it up. It didn't really do much. So if you guys are watching this because you are looking for ways to clear your skin, first of all, I really hope what I share with you today speaks to you and works for you. And trust me, have an open mind. Now, of course, as many of you know, if you had bad skin, you try everything. There are cleanses, masks, tonics, peel off masks, you go to a dermatologist, they do different procedures. My dermatologist at the time even told me that I should change my pillowcases every two nights. So one night you sleep on one side and then you turn it around and then after that you have to clean it or like put a fresh one on. It was just exhausting. She told me that I shouldn't be eating grapefruit, any citrus fruits because it wasn't good for my skin and I tried everything and it didn't work. Then I came on a vacation to New York and I saw all these ads in America about this Clearasil, I think the brand was, and it was kind of like a face wash and it had like a little control. I was like, oh, like it's everywhere on TV in America. I'm totally gonna buy it and try it out. And I bought it. It cost like 50 bucks. I bought it and it just dried out my skin like crazy. And because it dried it out so much, I just broke out even more. So. Those ads uh, are totally not true and it didn't work. It didn't do anything. Action wise, I tried every single thing and I felt hopeless. Now, that's where part two of the video comes in. I discovered, well, I knew about it when I was younger, but I kind of rediscovered law of attraction, bear with me, 
law of attraction and how your thoughts and mind and body are all connected. So I rediscovered it when I was 13 and yeah, my skin was still miserable. I discovered it, I watched the movie and I was like, oh my God, I love it. It totally makes sense because it made me realize that all the things that I've gotten that I thought about, it was almost like, I had all these experiences and I couldn't put a word to it and then law of attraction showed up and I was like, oh, that's what it is when you think about it and then it manifests, you basically attract it. So I came across this author called Louise Hay and she had written a book called Heal Your Life. Wait, let me bring the book actually. Okay, so this is the book, Heal Your Life by Louise Hay. I think I first watched the movie, you can watch the movie for free on YouTube. I'm gonna link it below if you wanna check it out. And basically she talks here about how our thoughts and our beliefs influence and affect our body. Now, at the end of the book, you have this long, long list. I don't know if you can see it. Focus, yeah. It basically has all these different problems like abdominal cramps, um, aches, acne, um, allergies, and then it has a probable cause and new thought patterns. So basically, she had ovarian cancer, it was pretty serious. She discovered that her body is showing her what her beliefs about herself were and what beliefs in general she was holding towards herself and her body, and then she completely cured herself and she wrote this amazing book. And she's, if you haven't heard of her, you have to check her out. She's like the grandma of self-help, I, I love her. So, she has this list at the back and it says next to every single problem, it says a probable cause, what thought patterns or beliefs probably caused the problem in the first place. And then it gives you a new thought pattern, which is basically an affirmation. So um, I, I follow this book. I believe in it so, so, so much. Call it whatever you want it. You don't have to believe it. As I said, just because it doesn't resonate with you doesn't mean that it doesn't resonate with everyone, but I fully, fully believe it. And I live by this book and these principles of mind body connection. So the point that I'm trying to say is I watched the movie and then I bought the book and I looked what acne means. And it says acne, not accepting the self and dislike of the self. And then the new thought pattern, it says, I am a divine expression of life. I love and accept myself where I am right now. I kid you not, my jaw dropped. I just went, wait, what? So um, I have acne on my face because I don't like myself and I don't accept myself and I basically completely hate myself. Now, you know, before I fully got into this, now I'm a, uh, I love law of attraction and universe and mind body connection, everything spirituality related. But you know, when you start out, maybe it's you watching this video for the first time and you're like, hold on a second, what are you talking about? Like, how is my skin related to my thoughts about myself? That's exactly what I thought. I was like, come on, like it can't be true. But then I started thinking back and I was thinking, you know, when I was young, 11 or 10 and I had gorgeous, gorgeous skin and kids always have amazing, amazing skin. And then I started thinking, when did my skin started getting so bad? And I realized it happened when I moved from Lithuania to Holland. So I'm originally from Lithuania, but I moved to Holland in 2010 and lived there for five years. But when I moved here, uh, when I moved to Holland, my skin started getting really bad. And I can totally confirm that it was related to my identity and how I saw myself and how I felt about myself. There were a lot of gorgeous people that I went to school with and everybody was so confident. And I, you know, I just moved from Lithuania. I still had a pretty thick Lithuanian accent when I was talking English. I was trying to figure everything out. I was like, oh my God, I don't have any friends. I had a couple of friends, but you know, I felt a little bit lost and intimidated and my skin kind of started going downhill from there. So then when I read the description of acne, I was like, it totally makes sense. It spoke to me completely. Me not feeling worthy and me not being confident in myself and me not loving myself manifested in acne. So I was like, you know what? I've got nothing to lose. And I mean, honestly guys, if you tried every single thing and it didn't work for your skin, trying this and you know, going at this in a more spiritual kind of, uh, mind-body connection way, 
you've got nothing to lose. You already tried everything that you could possibly try. So trying this and thinking that maybe your beliefs or like, you know, you not feeling good enough is the cause of your skin. You've got nothing to lose to try this method because you've already tried anything. So as far as you know, yo, if this doesn't work, this doesn't work, but just have an open mind. So I read this and I was like, oh my God, I have to totally try. I took my lipstick and I wrote with big letters on the big mirror that I have in my bedroom. I am beautiful and I completely and fully love and accept myself. The first time or the first hundred or 200 times that you say this affirmation or that you read this affirmation, it's gonna feel like a lie. It's gonna feel like a lie, you're gonna hate it, you're like, what am I doing? But then, as you say it more and more, you start to feel it more and more, and I had instances where I was looking at myself in the mirror saying the affirmation, I completely love and accept myself, and I used to bawl my eyes out. I was looking at myself and I was thinking, how can I hate myself that much? It's such a painful fit thing. If you are feeling insecure, if you don't like yourself about something, it's so painful. You are hurting your own self. And like, we are stuck in these bodies for the rest of our life. We are the most important relationship in our lives. And most of the time we happen to be our own worst enemy. We happen to hate ourselves so much in a way that we would never be able to hate other people. So I started seeing the affirmation. Second of all, I started visualizing clear, beautiful skin. That's where law of attraction comes in. And I'm gonna make a series of videos about law of attraction in a couple of weeks, so bear with me. But law of attraction basically says that what you think and what you feel, what you put your focus on, that's what you attract into your life. So by using Louise Hay method of, you know, understanding what beliefs cost my skin and then using law of attraction, I was thinking, you know what, I got nothing to lose. So I started visualizing beautiful, clear skin. Then I moved schools. My skin was a little clearer, but it wasn't fully clear that I moved schools and my skin went back downhill because again, I moved schools. I barely knew anyone. Last two years of high school, it's, you know, everybody's kind of like cool and confident and you're like 16, you feel like you're ruling the world. And I was again, insecure. So my skin, my skin was still very, very bad. But ever since then, I started sending more love to myself. I was like, you know what? If this is the way it is, I just gotta let it go, not worry about it, and yeah. So my skin started clearing and I was getting really, really happy and excited about it. And now my skin cleared and it was beautiful and I was like living my best life, my last year of high school. And yeah, I it totally worked for me and it totally made sense for me. Then, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I want you to see the pattern that I'm talking about. I moved to Holland and my skin went really, really bad because I was not confident. I didn't like myself. I wasn't, you know, proud of myself and who I was. I felt insecure, so I had really bad skin. Then I uh, moved to another school and my bad skin just escalated even more. Then my skin cleared and then in September of 2015, I moved to New York City. When I moved here, my skin was beautiful, my skin was clear, and then two months in, it started going bad again. And I was like, you gotta be kidding me, again? Like seriously? And I totally knew that once again, it was related to me not feeling confident. I had just moved away from my family, from my friends. I moved across the world to a city and uh, you know, a continent that I knew no one. So I was terrified, I was scared, and I had just turned 18, and I'm living on my own, and everything is so scary, and my skin started going bad again. But when it started going bad again, I already knew about the pattern and how it you know, worked for me. So I started sending love to myself. I was like, you know, girl, don't worry, it's okay, you're figuring yourself out, you're figuring out who you are, and you know, you're learning to be confident in yourself. And then of course, five, six months later, when I felt really good in my body and, and who I am, my skin cleared up completely. Now, part three is supplements and diet. So, supplements and diet and kind of like things that I was taking to keep and clear my skin. I honestly, I, I credit 90% of clearing my skin uh, through changing my beliefs and my thoughts because it is pure magic and I believe that our bodies are so, so smart and we can heal ourselves, we can cure ourselves, our bodies are very, very intelligent. Action-wise, I, 
I started taking uh, hormonal birth control when I was 13 or 14 and it's supposed to clear your skin. Clearly that didn't work for me. I was taking the pill for five years and then I quit. I made um, episodes about going off hormonal birth control. So I went off the pill in November of 2017. And to be honest, I was a little bit scared because I was thinking, oh my God, what if I go off the pill now? and my skin is gonna be really bad and I'm gonna realize that it wasn't my thoughts or my feelings clearing my skin, but it was the pill. But the thing is, it didn't make sense because I was taking the pill continuously for five years and my skin still was good and bad and good and bad. So I knew and I had complete faith in myself that when I go off the pill, my skin is not gonna go bad. And I read so many stories and I completely scared myself because there are so many stories and you know, women quitting the pill and, and then two or three months, months, their skin just goes really, really bad. And I feel like we scare ourselves into it. We, it's almost like a placebo effect. I feel like, you know, women think that their skin is going to be to get really bad when they go off the pill and then it gets, you know, really bad and they're like, ah, oh, I knew it, I gotta go back on the pill. So call it a placebo effect, call it what you want, but I felt so confident in myself and in who I am, so I knew when I go off the pill, it's not gonna change anything because my skin reflects how I feel about myself on the inside. So I went off the pill and now it's been like, nine months and my skin is still clear. However, just to maintain my radiant and beautiful skin, I do take a couple of things. It definitely didn't cure me. It's not the biggest thing, but I just want to have clear skin, especially that you know it's so hot out now in New York, I'm just completely sweating. Or in winters when it's really, really cold. So I use evening primrose oil on my skin and I usually put it on my skin in the evenings. It's very oily, so I wouldn't use it as a moisturizer or anything. I honestly use it almost like an overnight mask. I just put some on my fingertips, I rub it in, and it just makes me feel very moisturized and hydrated. And then I take a dim supplement. Dim supplement is basically these nutrients extracted from like cabbages and broccoli, vegetables like that, and I take it in pill form. I've been taking it for three or four months, I believe, just because when you go off the pill, your body has a little too much of estrogen, I believe. Don't quote me on that one. I'm not a great medical person, but I believe it's estrogen. Um, so DIM just helps flush out that estrogen out of your system. So I take DIM because I just wanted to balance my hormones more. So I feel like it's more for my hormones from recovering post spill rather than anything else. And that's about it. I also, another important thing to remember or for me to share with you is that I used to buy the fanciest uh, face washes and masks and tonics and toners or God, just thousands and thousands of dollars wasted on products. But I used to buy a lot, a lot of products. And when I went to a dermatologist, she put me on this like crazy skincare routine every single morning. I had to wash my skin with a specific cleanser. Then I had to put toner on. Then I had to put moisturizer on. And then I had to put some serum on. It was like four products in the morning and in the evening. And I thought it was too much. So when I started working with the law of attraction, when I started working with Louise's Hey method of, you know, listening to your body and what your body is trying to say to you, I stopped everything. I bought a simple face wash and I used it just in the evenings because in the mornings I woke up, my skin was already, you know, fresh because I only slept. And I would honestly just put some simple moisturizer or nothing at all. And then in the evenings, I would just wash my face post makeup and things like that. Because my thought process was, okay, our bodies know how to heal themselves. Our bodies are so, 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 so smart. And why are there people who have gorgeous radiant skin and they don't do anything for it? And there are people who have skin problems and they do everything and they buy tens and thousands of different products and nothing works. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna leave it up to my body to figure it out. I'm not gonna put anything fancy. I'm not gonna buy all these things that are being advertised for me. So I just stopped everything. I started focusing on my thoughts. I started focusing on how I view myself. I started giving a lot of self-love to myself. And then I just bought a simple face wash. I sometimes use 
this mask, this clay mask from Amazon, by the way, it's absolutely amazing. I'm gonna link it in the description as well. Um, it's super cheap and it's just clay. So you mix it with water or apple cider vinegar, you put it on your face. I just feel like it really draws out the impurities, especially when it's this hot out in New York City, I'm always sweating. So I feel like my pores get clogged up sometimes. So these are the only things that I use. And honestly, I feel like if I stopped everything, I mean, I need moisturizer. Everybody needs moisturizer and SPF when it's this hot out. But as, as far as like really expensive masks or serums or creams or gels or tonics go, I don't use any of it. <sighs> I think that was about it. So this was a longer video than usual, but I hope it really helped you. It actually was really nice for me to put it all on camera because I don't think I've shared this with anyone except my mom because she saw me go through all of this, but I hope it was helpful. If you are going through this right now, trust me, I've been there, I know how you feel. If you wanna talk, if you wanna message me, message me on Instagram or shoot me an email through my website, I'm definitely going to reply. I really hope this information was valuable to you and as I said, don't take it for my word. I mean, this is what worked for me and I really strongly believe in it, but if you are against it, if it doesn't speak to you, it's completely fine. This is not the only way, but that's what worked for me. And I know that's what worked for a lot of people too. And I swear myself by this method and this book, this book is magical. So if you want to check it out, all the info is going to be in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this video. This was not a very usual it's Gabby video, but I just wanted to share that with you. And if you liked it, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you next Friday. Bye. Mm -hmm.